Good Tuesday yeah. morning. This is 106.1 KYVZ. Joe is visiting with Ag Meteorologist Chris Schramick at Decision Weather and Atwood, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. Chris, looks like relatively warm and dry weather will continue for the next few days. Yeah, Joe, we're kind of stuck here in the middle of a lot of activity on the national weather map. We've got uh, Tropical Storm Francine that's in the Gulf, and it is moving northward to the southeast United States, and will come on shore later today. And that is expected to strengthen to a hurricane as it comes on shore and then it moves up the Mississippi Valley uh, the next couple of days. Um, what that's going to do is that's going to block everything that's happening out to the west where there is a deepening and developing trough, which will eventually come over the Rockies. And with that tropical storm to the east, it will deflect it northward into southern Canada by the end of the week. So what we're going to see until then in between is we're going to have this southerly flow and these warm temperatures increasing as the week goes on. Today, the winds will not be as strong as they were yesterday. We're expecting a south-southeast wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour instead of gusting 30 to 35. But tomorrow, we'll be back to the 30 miles per hour. Then on Thursday, we could be up to 45, 50 miles per hour and continuing to be gusty 30, 40 miles per hour on Friday. So with that, the dry conditions, we got moderate to severe drought across the area. Relative humidities will be low to the west. Thus, we're going to have increased fire danger conditions starting tomorrow through the end of the week. Also out there, as we expect, like we saw yesterday, temperatures climbed into the upper 90s. We saw some 99 degree readings. It will not be that high today. We're going to be in that lower 90s because of some cloud cover and moisture associated with all the activity to the west and the flattening of that ridge. But we're going to see temperatures you know, in the 90s for the rest of the week. Uh, we may see with the windy conditions tomorrow and Thursday, up there more in the middle to upper 90s again, back into the lower 90s, upper 80s on Friday as that system comes over the Rockies and does drag a cool front and a low pressure through Friday evening. That's when we'll start to see the weather changing. We got a chance for some scattered shower storm activity there Friday evening. And then we go through the weekend, some high pressure kind of moves in for a couple days. We'll see our temperatures drop into the middle to upper 80s. That's still warm for this time of year. We should be in the upper 70s and low 80s. Overnight lows through the week will be in that lower 60s, dropping into the upper 50s for the weekend. And then we've got another trough that'll dig deep out there into the West Coast. Nothing will be on the east or side of the United States this time. And that'll bring a series of troughs and cold fronts through by the end of next week, heading into next weekend. That's when we're going to see our increased chances for moisture. Computers are suggesting the next seven days, we may only see a tenth. 20 hundreds of precipitation, but that second seven days next week and in the next weekend, we could see upwards to an inch or two inches or more of precipitation. So we do expect increased chances of precipitation with that stuff later next week, cooler weather. By the end of the week and heading into the weekend, we could be talking highs in the 70s, around 80, and overnight lows in the upper 40s and lower 50s, thinking that fall is just around the corner. All right. Once again, that's Ag Meteorologist Chris Schramick at Decision Weather Now, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. For 106.1 KYVZ, I'm Joe Vizuri.